Okay, real quick here, uh, just a performance test, Lincoln 2. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with these, uh, I wouldn't call it compact, but it's uh, actually about the same size as a Cobra 25, so semi-compact radio. Um, basically a 955 striker, they're basically the same thing. Um, same thing with this one, uh, Christian sent this one in, hadn't been modded up, uh, was basically stock, and... Uh, wasn't doing a lot of average power or anything. Now these things, still the average power will decrease uh, in proportion to the dead key to the carrier on it, but not as extreme as it does when it's a uh, stock. So basically what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll just turn this all the way down to start off. And uh, we'll go to average power, 50 watt slug, middle scale, average power first. It's like a one watt day key. Oh, yeah. seven watts average. Now, the interesting part about that, let's go to peak. <sighs> audio, 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 audio. So right there, the way it's set up right there, it's basically performing audio, audio, similar to like a Cobra, like a hopped up Cobra 29 or something, except less average power, but Really doing some peak power there. Audio, 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 audio. So that's with the RF power all the way down. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this off, the peak kit, and I'm gonna come over here and turn halfway. You get a lot of range on these things. This is halfway. Now we're deck in. 13 watts, audio, and we're swinging 35 average. Audio, I'm watching our current over here, and uh, we've doubled the amount of current that we're drawing. We're on 14 and a half volts. Audio, audio, we're drawing like six amps. So this thing's putting out some power. Just for kicks, I'm gonna go to peak. I already know what's gonna happen. Audio, so laid 50 watts over in the corner. Um, we're gonna finish out our test on average power and then I'll put another slug in. So let's go here and turn this wide open. Turn the peak kit off. We're still on average power. So 15 watts wide open. That's the way it's set. You can change that on the inside. Audio, 35. 35 watts average from 15. That's uh, this thing can drive a four pill really good. Cut it down some and you can drive a two pill with it. Anyway, so now we're gonna go to peak. We're gonna do the same thing. We're probably gonna lay it over in the corner. Audio, audio, if I can mash the mic down. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, drawing about six and a half amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out this 50 watt slug. My 500 watt slug is in the back of an amp right now. It's in there, in the back of my single 500Z. So I forgot to bring it in here as I normally do. A uh, thousand watt slug, just gonna give you a general idea. No, it's not gonna show just like a 500, but it's gonna be pretty close. Uh, let's see, bottom scale. Audio, 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 and it's showing about 80 watts or so. Audio test, audio test. Now, some of the 655s and stuff, and the uh, Hello 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the 447s, they do a little bit closer to 100. I don't know what the small difference is. Uh, this is a sideband radio, so could be why the peak isn't up there near as much. I uh, haven't had a uh, 955 come through here, so... I uh, can't really compare, and I've been told these things are basically like a, just like a 955 on the inside. So 80 watts peak, uh, drawing about 6 amps, 14.5 uh, volts. Um, so doing some good power there. I don't know why I stayed focused in on that bird meter for so long. I should have been looking at the radio. <laughs> but... uh I like these radios. You know, I had that McKinley uh, on here earlier testing it, 
And, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of these new surface mount radios, but, you know, you got to kind of keep up with the times, I guess. And um, I like these just as well, if not better than the Strikers, um, to be fair. The McKinley, I surely like more than the Striker 94. Uh, the Lincoln, you know, I don't know. It's all in what you like, I guess. You like the menu-driven type deal here, uh, like this thing is, or do you like the... Uh, more traditional functions of like the strikers. I like the 655s, 955s, the 447s. Um, but I like this radio. It seems to do pretty good. 80 watts, uh, peak, and then it cuts down, you know, what is it done? 50 watts peak all the way down from one watt, seven, eight watts average, and then all the way up to 35 watts average. So uh, good radio to drive a two pill, four pill, uh, you know, 2879 amp. I definitely would drive a, at least a, a two pill C with one of these. Don't know that I would run a regular HG with one. Might be a little hot for them. Uh, but the two pill C, I would definitely do with one of these guys. Lincoln 2, I hope he's happy with it. It's doing a lot better than it did when it came in here. Gump did a little, little magic to it there. You know. There you go. That's it, guys. Lincoln 2. Hope you guys enjoy. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.